Welcome back. For today, we will talk a little bit about saturated sets in a general topological space. So, first of all, any set, we will call it saturated set, if it is, can be written as intersection of open sets in our topological space. So, we will take uh, open sets in our topological space, UI, and we will take the intersection of all those open sets. Any set of this form will be called saturated set. So we have a couple of things to say. First, a set is saturated if it can be written as any intersection of open sets. Now, we have two remarks to mention here in this example. The first remark is, number one, is any open set is in fact saturated. And the reason why is because I can take any set A and I can write it as intersection of many open sets and all those many open sets would be the same as A. So this is exactly kind of intersection will give me back A. So I'm taking the intersection of A with A with A. And since A is already open set, this will give me that A is saturated. Number two, now let's say A is a saturated set then what happened is A is the intersection of many open set UI. Now what happened if we look at the complement of A? So the complement of A will be the union of the UI complement. And those are closed sets. So we can say that a set is saturated if its complement is a union of closed sets, if we want to say it on the other way around. We now go to the first question, and in the first question, we want to show that in every T1 space, any set A will be a saturated set. Now, what do we know about T1 space? Let me just remind you here in T1 space. In T1 space, this is means every singleton set X is closed so i know this for a fact that every set is closed well okay now how do you are going to prove that any set is a saturated set well i think there is an easy simple way to do such thing is what if we use, because if I want to show that A, remember, if I want to show that A is saturated, I need to show that A can be written as intersection of many open sets. Or the other way around, which I just mentioned, I need only to focus on the complement and show that the complement is a union of closed sets. Which one is easier depends on the question itself. Now, in our question here, we have for a fact a collection of closed sets and these are the singleton. So I will try to show 
this equality here. So I need to start with the complement. The complement. So I need to use the complement. Well, what do we know about the complement? What do we know about the complement? The complement can be written as a union of its elements. Any set is a union of the singleton of its elements, which is this one. Now, the good news is we're almost done. Why? Because we know that those singleton are closed. And the reason why is because the space is T1. And that's what make me for sure saying it's a close. So what happened here is the complement becomes a union of closed set. Now, if you want to go back to the original definition, if we take the complement for both sides, he will get A back. He will get an intersection of the complement of X and those are open. Hence, A is saturated. And that's the complete proof for the first one. So if I just for a summary say that if we have a T1 space, then we know that every set will be a saturated set. The proof is very simple. Just focus on writing either A as intersection of open sets or writing the complement of A as a union of closed set. And the best way to do it, because I have T1 space, I know that the singleton are closed and any set is a union of its singletons. So the complement is a union of closed sets. I conclude that A is saturated. Now, the trivial questions that come to our mind whether any subset is saturated. In question number two, we want to find an example where we can find a subset which is not saturated. It is not intersection of open sets. And usually to find such examples, we need to try a finite easy topology, which is I will take A, B, C, and my open sets collection will be a very simple one. Let's just go with A and go with X itself. Of course, this is a topology. It satisfies all the conditions for a topology. Now, the set B comma C is not saturated. Why? Because I cannot write B and C as intersection of the things in tau. If we take any intersection in the things of tau, we will never get B comma C. That will never happen. So here in this example, we show a space that is a subset that is not saturated. Question number three, and the final question for this video is, we want to show the opposite. What happened if, if every subset is saturated? Does it mean we get T1 space? Remember in question number two, we prove the converse. We prove if we have T1 space, then every subset is saturated. Now I want to do the opposite. Assume every subset is saturated. Do we get T1 space or not? Well, we will get, and let's see how do we get it. Now, remember to show X, the topological space X tau is a T1 space, we need to show that every subset A of X, oh, sorry, we need to show that 
the single turn are close. Every single turn is close. Okay, so we need to show that every single turn is closed here. <clears throat> so let's start with a single turn. Now we know that the single turn is subset of X. Hence, it is I will, I will do the complement. So I know that the complement of, of C is subset of X, hence it is saturated. So the complement of the singleton is equal intersection of many open sets. Why I'm focusing on the complement? Because I want to reach the fact that the complement itself is open so that the singleton is closed. Now, if you take a moment and think about it, the singleton of X if we go back to the basic of the basics of set theory, the singleton of X is only one point and the complement is everywhere else. Now imagine you have an intersection of many subsets and they cover all the yellow area here. This means without any thinking that the complement has two options, either it is only OI or one of the OI is X. It cannot, of course, all of them become X. So one of them for some I is equal to this one. Now, from this, we can conclude that the singleton is a complement of open sets. Complement of open set. Hence, the singleton X is closed. And so the topological space is T1. And that's the proof for this part of the question. Thank you for watching.